you guys haven't seen the first episode, make sure you watch that one first before watching this one, or else you're not going to really understand anything. So, uh, yeah, go watch that one and then come back to this one. She goes, I got Anthony. He's not scoring. Now, instantly, all my friends start wilding. Bro, you're trash, bro. Is them tears, bro? I mean, I've been put into one of the worst situations a little boy can be put into. I like to call this the Cool J effect. See, I call it that because there's always two L's in this situation. If I channel my inner Kobe and score 81, everyone's just gonna say, Wow, bro, you were getting guarded by a girl, and you were trying too hard anyways. It's just a game, bro. But if I don't have a KD-type performance, the whole school will find out I got clamped by a girl. Man, I played like it was the NBA Finals. Bump that. I wasn't getting treatment from Girl Mon Green. That's the one thing we're not about to do. But one problem, she had a trigger. Like, the best way to approach the situation is to come down, score easily, barely defend her, <laughs> you come back and do the same thing. She wasn't having that. She was making everything. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little shook. I missed my next shot and tried to go for the rebound, and on my way down, I accidentally, once again, accidentally, might have knocked her over. I have never heard a gym go more quiet in my entire life. I mean, I might as well have been wearing a 27 Chiefs jersey. If you don't get that, Google it. I look at her and she just says, our ball check up i tried to apologize but she just kept swiping at the ball i already knew what that meant i'm finished it's over whatever ounce of respect i had on this court is dead i'm gonna have to switch schools because there's only two things that can happen at this moment she gets the ball shoots misses we win and i'm forever remembered as the guy who hits the girls and let's not act like the story would have been told exactly what happened no chance middle school kids tell stories better than walt disney and that's because they got to add a little salt a swig of pepper and uh, maybe a dash of uh, lies. This clearly wasn't a good option, but neither was the other one. Option number two, she gets the ball, shoots, makes it and walks off the court like Kavita Durant. And I'm out here looking like Kevin Looney. Yes, we're not having none of that. But I left her open and of course, I took the L. I figured the first option was worse. Boy, was I wrong. Wow. You know that feeling when you're walking to the lunch table and you just know, you, you just know that they're about to cook you? Like on the first day of school when your mom makes you wear the shiny church shoes instead of the crispy 11 she bought you? And, and it's like you just know that your friend saw you walking into school wearing them. But they have been saving these jokes on lunch table because this is what separates the roasters and the roasties. If you're ever in this situation, you gotta use this walk to scan your opponents. Look for haircuts, stains, and most importantly, FUBU. Yes, look, I know. Damon John, the owner of FUBU, he's a cool dude. He's rich, successful. You know, you should never roast somebody's clothes. You never know what somebody's going through. But this is the lunch table. It's every man for themselves. And plus, look at him. He was going to roast me too. Once you spot the weaknesses, you got to take out the weak ones first. Because those are the ones that give that awkward laugh. That, you know, they slide over to you so you don't get them anymore. Hey, yo. You got to have crowd control. Yo. That's the only way you get out of this. I'm sorry. You're going to have to excuse me for one second. Hey, yo, man. So, uh... I heard that. But that jacket you got on, South Face, you really thought you were killing him with that one, huh? Oh, so you laughing, huh? I'd be laughing too if I had on Pippins. My boy asked for the Jordan 4s and ended up with the Scotty 33s. America. Wait, please. God bless you. Yep, he told everyone. This dude's out of control, but he was one of my best friends at the time, and high he still is. So that means he's probably watching this right now, so, uh... That what you put into my head made me want Anyways, me and him are really good friends. Once again, I'm not gonna use real names, so let's call him Deshaun. Deshaun is, um, an interesting friend. Like, he's one of those friends that drowns you in a pool and helps you out of it. You know, like, the friends that cause your pain just because they help you out of it, they feel like they did nothing wrong. Yeah. That's the Sean. By the way, the pool thing was real. My boy actually did that. Like, no cap on God. On God, no cap. So anyways, after Deshaun decided to tell the whole state of Florida what happened, the lunch bell ring. I'm not sure how the bell at your school works, but basically for us, the bell would ring, meaning that this is the end of the class. We have five minutes to get to the next class. Once you heard the music come on, that would mean you have one minute to get to class or... I mean, nothing really would happen, to be honest. I mean, I guess they just wanted to scare us. Now, usually what I would do is meet up in the middle of the school with all my boys until we heard the music. Then we all would rush to class before the music would stop. But this time, I wasn't trying to do all that because I knew what this four minutes was going to consist of. 30 seconds of dapping up and three minutes and 30 seconds of Deshaun explaining his Grammy award-winning version of the story. So I'm trying to get to my next class before they can see me. Now, the way the school was set up is the lunchroom was on the left side and the classes were on the right. The middle of the school was the outside, 
and this is where we'd meet up. I knew my friend's classes were right here, and my next one was here. If I wanted to get to class before they saw me, I was gonna have to walk pretty fast. So I started speed walking out of the cafeteria, and to my left, I see Jade and her friends. To the right, I see my friends, and behind me, Deshaun. I start walking faster to avoid all of these demons. I hear Deshaun screaming from behind me. Hey, yo, yo, where you going? So now everyone's attention is 100% on me because this hooligan is screaming at the top of his lungs. So at this point, I start running and he chases me. Now any normal person would just grab the person they're chasing and tell the story that they so desperately want to tell. He just sticks out his leg and trips me. So I fall on the ground and everyone starts dying laughing. And you won't believe what happened next. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for watching this one, guys. The next one will be out soon. Make sure you guys like the video. Comment what you guys think about these new videos. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and IG. Send me a screenshot of you watching this video and liking it, and I'll follow you back.